I mean, I don't want to get into the thing where I'm just sort of singing a song because I know people are going to like it. Well, since 90, 1977 years, you've, you've recorded 20-plus uh, albums. Um, do you still recall, know every song that you wrote? Can you still pick up the guitar and...? No, not at all, no. Uh, not at all. There's so many songs, <clears throat> but... Um, I mean, we, when we play live now, obviously we play all the new stuff, you know, whatever's, yeah. whatever's, whatever's new at the time. And we do play, I do play some old songs, but I have to, um, I have to kind of learn them off the other band members <laughs> most of the time. They seem to know the chords better than I do. Do you have one example of a song maybe that you say, well, we, we, we play it and, and I had to learn it from the other band members? Do I have to do that? Now, do you do you do you have an example of a song that you have oh, to learn, um, relearn from them? What have we done recently? Uh, what, pff, there's a song called "Scrape Away," which we're going to play at the moment, which is an old jam song from like 1980. Yeah. Which are kind of um, I had to hear it loads, of, you know, quite a few times just to kind of refresh my memory. Just, but yeah, I had to find the calls out from them as well. But once you've learned it, do you? Do you know? Yeah, once it, once it, it sort of comes back, it's yeah, like yeah. it's an old familiar thing, you know, but it's just, because I don't listen to the old records, you know, do you know what I mean? Obviously you make a record and that's it really. Yeah. So <clears throat> unless you're playing them or, or listening to them years later, I mean, there's, you know, there's, that's a song I haven't heard for like 30 years or something or 28 years, you know. And have you, have you, well, Longer. listened to the song actually with, when you recorded the Weird Jam, I mean the album version? Have you listened to it now? I, I've had to listen to it to learn it again, yeah. yeah. But it, and it comes back after a while, it's like, ah, okay, that's it, you know, and then and you'll kind of remember it and then, you know. What, what do you hear then? Do you think, well, it's a good song, it's a good band? Yeah, or? I do, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I didn't think it was a good song, we wouldn't be doing it, but but I do, yeah. And um, I suppose, you know, you kind of, I suppose I can't remember the flavour or the mood of that time I wrote it as well and, and what we were doing and what I was doing and, you know, all those yeah. kind of things that you connect with music, you know. But I think that probably the test of a of, lot, of most good songs is just if they travel well through time, you know. Yeah. And lyric-wise, for you, do you still well? Can you connect to the lyrics to the, to, yeah, to the old songs? Yeah. I have to really, because if I don't, then I can't really sort of sing them, you know. So there's probably a lot of old songs which I'd like to do, but if I can't find any kind of emotional connection with them, I can't really sing them. You know what I mean? Is the one song that you well that comes to your mind now that you say, well, that's the lyrics I still like, but I can't sing them right now? Well, I was going to do a song called Saturday's Kids, which is off an album, I don't know when it was, from like, so, well, a long time ago, from an old jam album anyway, called Saturday's Kids, which I thought, I hadn't heard it for a long time, but I was thinking that'd be a good song to do, but I just couldn't sing it, you know, just kind of, that moment's gone for me, really. It doesn't mean I don't like the track, but it just means I can't sing it anymore, you know. Is it, mm, Many songs that you have this feeling with, or is it 50-50? Many what, sorry? Many songs that you say, well, I can't sing them right now because I don't have the I feeling. I think it's probably the majority of them, really. Yeah. There's only a few, you know. There's only a few that I kind of think I can, I can still do them justice. That's the thing, really, you know. I mean, I don't want to get into the thing where I'm just sort of singing a song because I know people are going to like it. I mean, you know, you have to feel something for it still, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, your, your solo career started in 1992. Um, 22 Dreams was a reaction to you while well, turning 50. Um, this album, Wake Up The Nation, can you say it's a reaction to something maybe? I, I think it was more, <clears throat> the new, with the new album, it was kind of us wanting to make a record of, of the music we weren't hearing personally, of the sort of thing that we wanted to hear, the sort of music we'd like to hear coming out of radios. And, um, I think it's a kind of statement on just how sort of how bland and safe a lot of music's become in the last few years, you know? Is it the last two or three years or even before that? No, I think the like recent years I'm talking about, you know. But um, I think it's just the way things have gone, just culturally anyway. It's just a very sort of safe time, you know, people aren't spending so much money. People sort of cling to what's safe and... And so I guess it's a reaction to that, really, the, with the new record. We wanted to make something that was kind of urgent and add some energy and, and add some balls to it, which a lot of music, I'm generalising, but a lot of music hasn't got at the moment, you know. Do you have an example, maybe, that you say, well, this music is, uh, well, symptomatic for this period of time that we're, in, that we're living in now? Well, my music... No, I mean, on the music stuff. that you say... Well, I mean, I'm just talking about... <clears throat> the X Factor. There might be some underground sort of radio shows or alternative 
radio shows that are playing more cutting edge music. But generally speaking, commercial radio is fucking rubbish, really. It's just playing the sort of same old safe things that, you know, I mean, I'm talking about in England, I don't know what it's like in Holland, I've no idea.